What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here on Unison League and this is going to be the Unparalleled Loyalty Paragon Guide Tutorial and also I'm going to show you what's up with the monster as well. Um, I wanted to get this guys uh, this out to you guys as soon as I could, so let's go ahead and get started with it right now as the Augment Quest is about to come up and I need that Augment right now. So let's go ahead. Um, First thing you want to do is obviously we'll get you guys ready in a group and get you guys uh, into the game, obviously. <laughs> then you want to have at least one healer uh, and then some good DPS. This one is actually not as hard as most of the uh, Paragons. Um, as you can see, uh, Santobi is over here doing uh, a Ether Exchange. And uh, we have um, a bunch of people in here that actually have haven't done it. Um, this is the first time doing it, so it's it's really not that hard. Um, actually, me and uh, PKK Santobi were um, were in a a pub run, and we actually two manned it. So just me and him were able to kill off the the fifth and sixth um, waves by ourselves. So I mean, like duoing it. Alright, so basically what we're doing here is uh, we kill off the first mob really quickly and then we leave some time here to gain our cost back. Um, it's just basically going to be on the healer now to keep you guys alive while we're gaining cost here. And for the healer, you don't you want to just be around 50 um, cost, that's fine. As long as your DPS is at around 70 to 80 cost, you just want to do that. Leave them up for a bit. These uh, This crown jelly, the flower crown jelly. He's not going to kill you unless your healer is like, you know, AFK or something, uh, or you're really, really low in defenses. I actually had a, a pub come in at like level, I think it was like 60 or something. Like, I don't know how he got to this rank, but he was like level 60 or 70 and he was up in here and died instantly to one of the crown jellies. But as long as you have like around uh, 20k to 30k defenses, you should be okay. But right now, yeah, there we go. We uh, we went ahead and got the thumbs up that everybody's around 70 cost. Now we're going to go ahead and go for the Titan Golem first because he does do a debuff of magic defense uh, down uh, when he attacks. So you want to go ahead and take that guy out first. The Leviathan is going to come up next and he does do a confuse uh, at the end of his lifespan. When he's about to die, about 20 to 10, 10 to 20% of his life, he does a confuse uh, or a paralyze. But he, yeah, he does like a status effect. But right now we're just getting our um, HP back up and um, we see that uh, yes the Kaspasas are here so King Kaspasas we usually do our first units in here and it's just going to be a 3 haste, 1 Valkyrie, 1 Kagatsushi or KFC. Uh, if you do have the Kagatsushi that would be nice on this run uh, as you do always want to have some kind of safeguard or barrier between you and death. Um, you know if your healer is really amazing you don't have to have Kagatsushi or even if uh, you just pay attention as a healer and you have your dignity I actually don't have dignity at the moment I think I'm like literally like 200 costs away from my uh, last my dignity and then cleric is my last uh, shared trait that I need so yeah so I did the unison there and then now we're gonna go ahead and go for the serpent dragon first the reason we're going for serpent dragon first is because the serpent dragon also does a status effect that affects everyone uh, when he does an AoE around 10 or 20 percent so you know you definitely want to get him down as fast as he possibly could uh, hopefully he doesn't do the status right now um, also Fenrir does that uh, buff right there the um, the uh, I don't know what it's called, I forget what it's called, but he does the buff and he also debuffs you. Uh, there's also going to be another wolf here that's going to double debuff you, and you definitely want to be able to take those off as fast as possible. Um, I would suggest um, actually going for the crocodiles first, don't go for the wolf first, because if you go for the uh, crocodiles, uh, the wolf first, and then the wolf buffs the crocodiles, uh, it's going to be trouble, spell trouble for you. And also if he does uh, his Ragnarok and he gets it off and then the Crocodiles do both of their AoE attacks, everyone's going to die, especially if you don't have KFC up. So I would suggest going for the Crocodiles first. Our DPS is a bit split at this point. However, um, we do have some um, high DPS, so it's not too bad. And my heals are, are decently on point, so we're not going to die uh, at this moment. We do have our buffs coming out right now, and we didn't use a, uh, a uh, haste in it anymore. There you go, that croc guy goes down. Now we can actually uh, go for it. There it is, it's called Van. So if he does Van on both crocodiles, you're in pretty big trouble. 
Um, and as and again, if we're going to go for the wolf, or if you are going to go for the wolf, you definitely want to go ahead and put all your DPS on it. You shouldn't be splitting it like this. You want to go ahead and uh, either take out the first one on top, and then the first, and then the second one on the bottom, and then take out the wolf, or you can take out one of the crocodiles and then take out the wolf. It's up to you guys how much DPS you actually have. If you have incredibly high DPS, or if you have a bunch of mages and you're popping like Nemans, you can take out the wolf pretty easily with a, with a uh, volley of meteors, uh, one or two meteor uh, rains, and then shower. So. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what you gotta do. Um, right now, we're gonna go ahead and leave the crocodile just for a little bit. Um, most of the time, you want to leave him up for just a bit. As you can see, uh, PKK Santel B also calling for the stop. But um, yeah, I mean, you can stop for a little bit and catch up with your cost, catch up with some of your uh, healing right there. Um, also, get your unison on all your characters if you feel like it. So you have the time. You have the time here, as you can see on the upper right. We have a, a good amount of time till we, we uh, are gonna expire on the chest um, timed reward. So we'll be okay at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and finish off the the crocodile um, in about okay, I think a couple seconds here. We're gonna finish off the crocodile. As you can see, we had the thumbs up going on Santobi KW with the thumbs up. Then Sev, go ahead and uh, get the last hit on the crocodile. Going into the boss fight, you want to go ahead and um, save most of your unisons. You can do like one or two volleys right here, uh, and then do a staggering unison. One uh, one unison here, and then wait for another attack or two attacks, and then do another unison right after this. So there goes one unison up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, volley again with a uh, volley of attacks, and then you could do either one or two volleys of attacks, and then you pop your second unison. There it is. So I see that he buffs himself. Um, you, I could have did the lolly there, which is or the uh, witch, which was gonna debuff him. However, he does not have that much damage. You would think that you would want to balance it off right now, um, so you can get that balance off um, if you have balance. However, he's um, he's not that tough of a boss unless he crits you or something. But um, you definitely want to go ahead and bring balancing if you can on on the DPS. I don't think we brought balancing this this round. But um, yeah, we actually use all of our unisons here. Instead of that, I would probably suggest using one unison with like a buff, and then the Kagatsushi, and then saving another one for when he's below 20%. Again, and put put another balance on him if you guys could. Uh, bring or at least one or two balances if you if you guys uh, could, and then the healer should get you through the rest. Definitely want to balance now though because he has eight buff right now. So. Uh, and then Santobi should be popping his yep uh, uni right there. And uh, KW does have a um, Kagatsushi ward up as well, and Azen uh, buff is up, so we'll be okay. We went ahead and uh, put the um, recovers out. Everything's looking good, and now I can actually uni if I needed to. But I saw that you know we had we had a um, Kagatsushi buff, we had uh, all that, and yes, I did. I did get the monster here, but yeah, as you can see right here, guys, I'm actually holding my unison right here because we have right here we have like um, the Azen buffs are are still on people. We have the Kagatsushi Ward buff on people still, so I don't really need to pop anything. Look at the look at the um, new monster, the the uh, the holy monster. We have the that uh, defense deb um that buff on us so I don't really need to pop unison right now you could use unison right now just to be sure um, like right there Santobi yeah he, he still had the Kagatsushi up so it would be fine if even if he got like crit right there so yeah I got the monster on this run guys and then um, I think in the uh, in the couple minutes after I get him I show you okay yes so this is it right here uh, where I show you that uh, he does actually start at SR so uh, that's different about um, these t this monster and then when you want to augment him and reforge him you have to have these um, right here which are the um, the little orbs like you remember those orbs that you got from Pangea Argo if you did the uh, raid it's pretty much the same thing that uh, is going to be used for a bunch of different types of like either raid monsters or event monsters that are not um, l like 30 uh, if they're event monsters that are not 30 they're like 28 like this guy right here you use them on that and then there's the uh, I think there's there, there might be like a water event monster uh, in a raid later that you might be able to use this on as well 
So as you can see, you need um, you need uh, one of these SSR eggs, one SR egg, two of the SSR kispasas, and then one of the globes or the uh, you know the orbs. And then I go in the next video, I show you that I um, upped him to max of the SR. And then I, w I went ahead and showed you that you also need, for the next reforge, you're going to put in right here another globe. Uh, okay, sorry. I just, this is the this is one where I reforge him. So I reforge him. Da -da -da -da, he's reforged. And then I, okay, this is the one where you, uh, you sh I show you. You need two more globes, another SSR egg, and then two more uh, blue caspases. All right, and then also on this next one, I also show you his max stats right there. So I do have him at level 70 right now, so he's uh, zeroed out, no pluses on him, and he, uh, I do have all the shared traits that affect his magic defense and defense. It is a uh, big difference between the magic defense and defense on this mob. So as you can see there, uh, defense and magic defense are up. Um, I think I'm a, I'm a soldier class on this, so it's not going to affect any of the magic defense and defense on that character. All right, so that's about it, guys. Um, I think that's it for this one, guys. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Um, right now, I'm comparing the 199, uh, the nine, uh, 198 uh, Sirens magic defense, which is lower actually than this guy's defense. Which is, uh, he's not 190, he's zeroed out. Okay, so that's about it for this one, guys. If you liked the video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you can give me a thumbs down. Definitely check out my channel and check out um, the comments below. Tell me what you guys want on the next video. I would appreciate it if you guys would do that. It would help me out a lot. As well as uh, tell me what you guys thought about the video and all that good stuff. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel. And then if you uh, guys could... Um, Go back, uh, go back into the uh, channel and check out the other channels like uh, JTB, JTB Unison and uh, my other, uh, I think Kimo Cheese is on there. So, all right, guys, thank you guys all for watching as always, and take it easy. Peace.